Oh, I need a new shirt. Don't look at me naked. It's only for my OnlyFans. Check out OnlyFans.com slash your everyday nerd for premium pictures of my Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Good morning, gamers! Yo, welcome to your Everyday Nerd B-Sides Edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And on the B-Sides, we take a look at anything and everything in nerd culture that interests me. And today, we're going to be talking about a 10-year-old game that just so happens to be an anomaly in the video game industry, and that is Minecraft. Personally speaking, my relationship with Minecraft is really, really weird. Um, I've talked shit about the game for like 10 years now. My, my first time ever playing it was in high school when a friend of mine showed it to me. It's actually my roommate. Funny story, he showed me the game. I played it a little bit during lunch. I went home, I played it a little bit for about an hour or so. I was tired of it. I was like, this is just a one trick pony. All I do is just build stuff and I'm done. But needless to say, I didn't give it a shot until April Fool's Day 2017 when I made a really, really stupid video saying that my Let's Play channel at the time was going to be a Minecraft channel and uh, I, I did it under the epic name of Poopy McButtbutts69. Yo, what it is, it's your boy Poopy McButtbutt69 and welcome to the brand new the the 2017 channel we're gonna be a minecraft channel from now on because minecraft is the way of the future this was a 20 minute video where i didn't take any of it seriously everything i said was bullshit. and um yeah yeah now we're in 2019 after seeing its revival all over YouTube, I decided randomly one day about a couple weeks ago that I would give Minecraft a shot. I was like, you know, a lot of people like this game. I played Legos as a kid. I really loved playing with Legos as a kid. I've always been creative. I should like Minecraft. I thought I would only like Minecraft if it came out when I was a kid. But I figured, you know what? I know I'm 23 years old. But let's, let's actually give this a real try. So here we are. Let's talk about this 10 year old game that I hated and uh, everyone else seems to love. I want, the, want the, I want the box. What's in the box? Give me the box. Give me the damn box. There's nothing in the box. There's nothing in the box. Oh well. Oh man. Where's the dubstep music? Cue the, cue the dubstep music. There we go. There we go. It's piano music that's bullshit. If you don't know anything about it, you might want to move out of under that rock you've been living in for the last 10 years. But Minecraft is a 2009 survival sandbox game with its core mechanics being one, mining, and two, crafting. Hence the name Minecraft. It's, it's really, really that simple. When you start a new game, you are immediately set in a vast randomized world. Everything is open for you to explore and create it. Your first goal is to chop down a tree with your bare hands. All right, welcome to Minecraft. We're gonna go ahead and start by uh, punching this tree. That wasn't a good idea. Use the logs to make a pickaxe, mine some cobblestone to get a better pickaxe, a sword, a shovel, or a hoe. Yeah. And before nightfall, you need to build a house, get some wool for a sheep to make a bed, also that you don't die at night from zombies, creepers, aw oh, man, and a variety of way more scarier than they should be enemies. After you sleep or unfortunately don't find enough sheep to sleep, you really got to count sheep in this game in order to go to sleep because you got to get the wool to make the beds. You continue your exploring, fight mobs, find diamonds one day, get better items, fight harder enemies, and one day beat the legendary Ender Dragon. Or alternatively, you can set the world to a creative world. Take advantage of all of the vast items in a Minecraft world and create whatever it is your heart wants to create, like this rocket ship or this baby rocket ship. When I first heard of Minecraft years ago, I was under the impression that it was a baby game for little babies. You create things and you just create things. And as someone who's always been working towards a career of creating things, I figured why the hell am I gonna create things in a video game that don't function as anything in the real world? 
But as it turns out, that's not all Minecraft has to offer. It has this entire survival system, which complements its creative system into making a really robust gameplay loop. Out of all the things I've learned in 2019 about myself, like how it's hard being an adult to pay rent, like how I really hate going to the bathroom, how one day I'm gonna lay down and never wake up, but also that I, I like Minecraft apparently. So with this newfound knowledge of myself, I figured let's talk about why Minecraft may actually be one of the best games ever made. And I know, I know, I wish I was kidding. I mean, listen to Poopy Me Bubba 69 here. There's so much fun! Hold on sack, you wanna weigh in on this too? I, I think I'd rather rewatch the entire MCU if I have like every other movie be Black Panther. I thought this game was very stupid for a long time. I think the main reason that Minecraft is as popular as it is, is that it allows you to create your own fun. If you wanna just create for several hours, you can do that. If you wanna find rare resources, create every item legitimately and do your best to survive, you can do that. The game rarely places limitations on you and your creativity, which means that it's entirely up to you how you wanna play the game. At first, I was really into the creative aspect. On my first legitimate night of playing Minecraft, I was in a Discord call with a couple of friends. I started building a gigantic mansion out of pumpkins. I trapped, uh, kidnapped, uh, I made a friend with a turtle and he came into my establishment. And while I was screen sharing my my epic pumpkin house with my friends. Yo, yo, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Go outside real quick, I wanna see the outside. Okay. I'm digging the chocolate bar doors. Ooh, they looking kind of fresh too. Heck yeah. They do right, kind of see that. Like, yo, you wanna? Yo, I got some nice idea to actually add to the uh, the exterior of the house. Oh yeah. You want a nice little friend? Sure. I used to go into creative me. I was told by one of them to spawn what is called the Wither. I right, look up soul. I right, yeah, get the soul sand. Yeah. Okay. And then go ahead and look up Wither. Like that? Yeah, yeah get the, uh, the the skeleton head. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Now. Spooky, scary skeleton. What's that? It's an achievement. Don't worry. About it. Okay, so now place one uh, one of the blocks on the ground. Okay. And then place one on top. Okay. And then one on the left and right. Like, like up here? Yeah, up there. Up there. Up there. Oh like that yep and now on the top of the all three of the top row place mm -hmm. one skeleton on each okay um jay and uh he blew up my entire <laughs> what is this it's your little friend no what is it doing <laughs> jay what, what the f <laughs> <laughs> not the turtle <laughs> no and destroyed about two hours of work oh my word and my sea turtle ran away. After this colossal mistake and now a tattered friendship, I decided to try out the survival aspect, which honestly is very necessary because not only did it make me learn more of the core mechanics of the game, but it helps my creative side become easier and more effective. Plus at the end of the day, I'm very much a person that likes a challenge. It's why I love Dark Souls. It's why I love The End is Nigh even Tetris to a certain extent. I'm not good at it most of the time, but I like a challenge. So playing in a survival world on Minecraft is infinitely more fun to me than the creative world. However, sometimes I do like playing the creative world. I've found out something about myself. It's been a very, very long time since I've just kind of created something for the hell of it. Most of the time when I create a video, I'm doing it for myself but I'm also doing it because I want other people to see it. In Minecraft, I can just create things just because I want to, and that's kind of liberating. I don't have to worry about how many views it's gonna get or whether it will make money or make anybody else happy. I can just create it just because I want to, and that's really cool. I should also point out that Minecraft has definitely gotten better over the years. And the reason I know this is from secondhand accounts from friends, uh, looking at different blog posts and YouTube videos on the game, and also from my very limited experience with the game 
back a few years ago. Minecraft has evolved more than just mining and creating. There's villages, there's underwater monuments, there's villagers, there's all these different things that adds a lot to your gameplay experience. It's not just about finding some diamonds and beating the Ender Dragon. There's a lot more than that, and that's really cool to me. Seeing a game that went from having an update, a small update, every year or so, to having Microsoft now put out multiple updates within the span of a year is really neat, and I'm really excited to see what the game is gonna have to offer in the coming years. Now, with all this being said, yes, I do like Minecraft. Yes, it's insanely popular. Yes, its fan base is mostly toxic and I never plan to interact with it. But what's the point of this video? So far, I'm just a guy who said I didn't like Minecraft and now I like Minecraft because I actually gave it a chance. Because of its art style and its simplicity on a basic level, this is a game that really isn't gonna age for a very long time. But out of all these positives, I do want to let it be known. There are a couple of negatives that I hope they fix within the coming years. For starters, I don't like the combat in Minecraft. I, I, I know what to do. You swing a sword, but you, you don't spam it because it doesn't hit as hard. And I think this is really stupid. I'm hoping they fix this in the future, hopefully sooner rather than later. I think the biggest reason I like Minecraft is because of the exploring and the creative aspect of it. The combat itself is really wonky. Also, while there is a decent amount of enemies, I do feel like there could be more in this vast world where it's infinitely randomized and there's so many different biomes you can explore and items to get and things you can create. I feel like there's a very small, limited amount of enemies. And I know that there's a decent amount. I'm not saying that there's not enough. I'm just saying that it would be nice if there was more considering the scope of the game. And that's honestly like, besides combat, that's the only thing I can fault Minecraft for doing. I just think that it would do better if there was more there. And I know I sound like a 10 year old now. I want more, Bobby, give me more. And, and ironically, that's the target demographic for this game. But I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean that in a positive way. I mean that they've done so much with the game already that it can only benefit from having more. It's such a big world. Give us more enemies. Give us more items. Give us more quests. Give us more bosses. There's only a couple bosses in the game and I know I personally still need to fight them. But like, it would be dope if there were multiple bosses that you could just go find out in the overworld. I don't want Minecraft to corner itself or put itself in a box, lol, by pushing itself into these traditional gameplay elements because I think by having infinite choice and options, it makes it a great game on its own. But I think it would be cool for it to borrow from other areas of game design like the bosses and other worlds and we have the nether make another area. And I don't think this is super hard because there's such a vast mod community that they could easily find the best of the best mods and incorporate those into the main game. And I think if Microsoft really wants to improve Minecraft as a whole, I do think this is something they're gonna start doing down the road because it will definitely be more profitable. And for a game that is already the, it's, it's ridiculous for me to say this, Minecraft is the best selling game of all time. Tetris used to be number one, but now it's Minecraft. Like they're only gonna be able to make this game better by improving the combat and adding more content to it in order to get it in the hands of more people. Because for some reason, Minecraft has become this indie game. That's just a strange anomaly. It's loved by everybody. It has something for everybody. It's the highest selling game of all time. And in 2019, it's still worth playing today. If you've never picked it up, or if it's been a long time since you've played it, I definitely suggest checking out Minecraft. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Whoa, you just watched me talking about a video game and now you're gonna watch me talk about a more video games. Have you ever heard of Humble Bundle Monthly? Well, thanks for asking. Humble Bundle Monthly is a monthly video game subscription service that gets you multiple video games every single month 
for a low, low price of $12. Thanks, Text to Speech. This month, for only $12, you can get Slay the Spire and Squad for that low, low price of $12. All jokes aside, I really enjoy Humble Bundle Monthly. It is the most effective and easiest way to get a lot of games at a cheap price. A lot of them I plan on talking about on the show. And if you like indie games like Minecraft, I think you're definitely gonna find something that you're gonna enjoy in Humble Bundle Monthly. And let's be honest, if you're like me and you're on a tight budget, you can't afford video games that often. So Humble Bundle Monthly is the perfect place to get a bunch of games at a cheap price. Also, cool little perk, you'll be supporting your everyday nerd. So if you check out the link in the description box below, sign up for this month's Humble Bundle Monthly, or check this out. If you sign up for multiple months at a time, you can even get a discount. It's pretty cool, and you'll be supporting the show. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If for a reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on Minecraft? I feel like everybody's played this game. I'm telling you, everybody I've talked to played this game at some point in the last 10 years. And uh, I still think it's just crazy how much I enjoy it now. Also, check out the PewDiePie Let's Play. It is, it's my favorite anime of all time now. I wish I was joking. The show, it, the Let's Play is literally structured almost like a TV show. And it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's actually brilliant. In the meantime, thank you again for watching the episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.